What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. This time I'm talking a little bit about the fighting mechanics and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you my home base as promised in the last video. And as always, without giving you a boring intro, we're going to jump right into the video. And as you can see, I found another blue plane. Uh, it is uh, near the mining headquarters. I'm going to show you in a bit on the map where the location is. There is no body nearby. Uh, the, the, the plane uh, pretty much stuck in the ground. I wasn't able to find a fancy story this time. But as I already said in the other video, uh, I think they are connected to hopefully a future DLC would be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, we will see what it brings. Uh, so here you can see um, that's the location where I'm right now. So it's pretty much close to the mining headquarters and the two, uh, whatever you call them, towers. So talking about now a little bit about the fighting mechanics in Fallout 76. As we all know, uh, in the previous Fallout games, when you encountered a, uh, an enemy who did not uh, have the capability of shooting at you uh, or had guns, uh, he was pretty much uh, running at you, uh, let's say Death Claws, or we had the Ghouls. Uh, even the animals, uh, once you didn't have the perks yet for the friendly animal perk, uh, even the animals were going after you. So in in the previous thoughts, what were you doing? You were trying to climb on top of something. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm trying to get to an elevated location where I can snipe down the enemies, which obviously is much easier than just having a handgun or, or a machine gun and running through it and wasting bullets like crazy. Uh, and uh, in Fallout 76, the game mechanics quite changed. Well, I don't want to say changed. There are a few smaller changes, which I think are just ridiculous. For example, you, on the screen, you can see right now, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much about to get surrounded by ghouls trying to, to defend myself with the sniper, which is not a good idea for a bigger crowd of enemies, because there is reload time, and, well, obviously it's a sniper. You don't use a sniper in, in uh, short range distance. And here you can see, desperately trying to put on my tent once uh, I'm getting to the car. And I noticed the, the thing, uh, once I'm on top of the car, no matter which side of the car, the ghoul is trying to look up the weaker side. Which means that, that the side where they have the chance to catch me. And here you can see, this is pretty much a hide and seek game. So at let's say a different location, you're on top of a building and there is no way that the enemies, uh, let's talk about the ghouls, take them for example, uh, you're on top of a building and the ghouls cannot reach you. In Fallout 4, Fallout 3, they would just stand around, maybe run in circles until you were able to pick them up. In Fallout 76, they are actually running away. So when you're on the top of a building and you try to shoot down enemies, you take the first hit, enemy runs further away. If you're still able to see him, obviously with a sniper rifle, that's possible. You shoot him a second time, he will then go further away. Uh, I, I, until now, I wasn't able to get that on a proper good recording, but definitely we'll come back to that <laughs> and show you guys it is hilarious it is super funny so which brings us uh, to the next part of this video as already promised i'm gonna show you my home location first things first we have a defense system we have two shotgun turrets and all together three machine gun turrets surrounded by cement block and on top of a metal box. Not the prettiest solution, but so far it does its job. Coming to the working space area, we have all the necessary workbenches. We have the collecting bot, which has already some stuff collected. I can just recommend that to anyone who uh, is uh, going out to loot stuff on a constant base. 
the robot is amazing within uh, I'd say within a 15 or 20 minutes he has a good amount on supplies collected we have the generator the water purifying station uh, also pretty good I'd say every 10 15 minutes gives you three bottles of purified water here as you can see we have the scrape box as I thought, next to the working benches would be the good location. Here we have the uh, weapons uh, storage room or weapon station. Uh, it needs still needs some work, but I think uh, besides the wallpaper, I did a pretty good job. It looks pretty cool. Uh, even have a few handmade guns. Other than that, uh, the uh, the bubble head uh, station I have here as well a few magazines and of course some rare weapons for wall mounting here we are coming to my quarters uh, well private quarters we can call them so um in the private quarters uh, i still need some work done as well i'm not so happy with the purple wallpapers up there uh, I, I've seen uh, there's already an update for comic wallpapers. I might gonna buy that one in the next chance. And uh, other than that, um, I think I have all uh, the necessary things in my in my home base. The location far up to the left, uh, I think, is really good. Uh, so far, I haven't came, uh, haven't come across any enemies. So uh, as for that, I cannot save the defense system uh, working on full sufficiency uh, if if there are ever any enemies coming I will gonna uh, will, will update that and see if I need some work on that one as well but as I said I've been here for the last I'd say two weeks and uh, I haven't been attacked at all uh, for those who know my previous location uh, on top of the nuka cola uh, I think place or I think it was a diner uh, I was constantly attacked by surrounding enemies so that one wasn't too good as for now so far here is nothing so going back to the living quarters I have uh, there's a pool table unfortunately I still <laughs> I still wasn't able to collect all the pool balls uh, other than that, it's pretty much open space. I didn't want it to mount the door here as well. As you can see, uh, two doors are, are way sufficient. Uh, we have a, a little desk and I have the comic book bed. I think it's pretty cool. It's something unusual for Fallout, so I thought I'm going to buy it. And as well, some radio and some uh, wall tech inventory. So since uh, we are almost at the end, end of the video thanks everyone for the great support i'm getting and as i'm doing the voiceover for this video i'm already recording for the next video so stay tuned for more content really soon hopefully by tomorrow and uh like my video share it subscribe it and see you next time